China conducted its Joint Sword 2024B military exercise on Monday near Taiwan, sparking fresh tensions in the region. The drills have drawn strong criticism from both Taiwan and its international allies. Jeff Liu, spokesperson for Taiwan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs, condemned the military maneuvers. China's actions once again challenge the rules-based international order and seriously undermine regional peace and stability, he said during a briefing on Tuesday. Su Tsuyun, an analyst from Taiwan's Institute for National Defense and Security, weighed in on the implications of China's latest actions. The Beijing government's intimidation has always been 70% political and 30% military action, Su said. China's two Joint Sword AB exercises are not solely focused on Taiwan. They also serve as a statement to democratic countries, particularly the United States and Japan. Su added that he believed China's military ambitions go beyond its long-standing aim of unifying Taiwan with the mainland. The real strategic objective, he argued, is for China to transition from a land-based power to a maritime one. The Chinese Navy has changed from Greenwater Navy Navy to Blue Water Navy, and Taiwan is in an important location. All China wants is to control the oceans adjacent to it, Su explained. As regional tensions rise, Taiwan's government continues to build its military defenses and solidify ties with international partners, particularly the United States and Japan, in the face of China's escalating military posturing. Taiwan在10月14号在台湾周边展开军事演习,再次挑战以规则为基础的国际秩序,严重破坏区域和平稳定,外交部予以强烈谴责。北京向来它都是所谓的七分政治、三分军事事实上中国它会这样子的就是扩张它军力在赖清德未来四年或八年的这个任期之内北京一定会在就是婆婆变成北京是在挑衅那台湾真的我想最重要就是只有一个 Fighter jets took off from Shinshu Air Base, Taiwan, after China held large-scale military exercises surrounding Taiwan and its outlying islands Monday. 
China deployed an aircraft carrier along with warplanes, in a move that underscores the tense situation in the Taiwan Strait. China's defense ministry said the drills were a response to the Taiwanese president's refusal to concede to Beijing's demands that self-ruled Taiwan acknowledge itself as a part of the People's Republic of China under the rule of the Communist Party. The drills came four days after Taiwan celebrated the founding of its government on its national day, during which Taiwan's President Lai ching te said in a speech that China has no right to represent Taiwan and declared his commitment to resist annexation or encroachment. The presidential office of Taiwan called on China to cease military provocations that undermine regional peace and stability and stop threatening Taiwan's democracy and freedom. A map aired on China's state broadcaster CCTV showed six large blocks encircling Taiwan indicating where the military drills are being held, along with circles drawn around Taiwan's outlying islands. China's defense ministry has not said how long the drills will last. China deployed its Liaoning aircraft carrier for the drills, and CCTV showed a J-15 fighter jet taking off from the decks of the carrier, though the exact location of the carrier is unclear. The PLA's Eastern Theater Command spokesperson Navy Senior Captain Li Shi said the Navy, Army Air Force, Missile Corps were all mobilized for the drills, as it was an integrated operation. This is a major warning to those who back Taiwan independence and a signifier of our determination to safeguard our national sovereignty, Li said in a statement on the service's public media channel. Taiwan's defense ministry said it had deployed its warships to designated spots in the ocean where they'd carry out surveillance and stand at ready. It also deployed its mobile missile and radar groups on land to track the vessels at sea. As of Monday morning, they had tracked 25 Chinese warplanes and seven warships and four Chinese government ships, though it did not specify what types of ships they were. China held similar large-scale exercises after Lai was inaugurated in May. Lai continues the eight-year rule of the Democratic Progressive Party that rejects China's demand that it recognize Taiwan is a part of China. Also on Monday, China's Taiwan Affairs Office announced it was sanctioning two Taiwanese individuals, Puma Shen and Robert Cao, for their work in promoting Taiwan independence. Shen is the co-founder of the Kuma Academy, a non-profit that trains civilians on wartime readiness. Cao donated $32.8 million to fund the Academy's training courses. Shen and Cao are forbidden to travel to China, including Hong Kong.